YouTube, what's up, man? I'm here with a mini scheme that's going to help you guys get through a lot of games. Get your offense on track, man. It's really a unique one. But my offensive ebook, the New Orleans Saints, is out on Madden Surf. That's the one I actually use. That's the one that I like. Uh, but this one is in the Green Bay Packers playbook. It's a playbook I use in Madden 17. Always been one of the more popular playbooks, I would say, uh, in Madden. You know, probably one of the top 10 for the last five years. So it's definitely one you guys should take a look at. And I always take a look at to start the year. I mean, the reason I really don't run it anymore, they took a lot of plays out of this wide trips. They took out doubles, whatever with doubles I used to run. But now they have this doubles week. And this is the formation I'm going to use. And the first play I'm going to show you guys, man, is, is really, it, it just has these RPOs to the slot. It has both power and a zone. But they're similar because they both have the bubble screen. So this will work pretty much on any, like, three, these guys run the 3-4 pinch defense. Anything like this, we can go in and hit this. You guys have seen the RPOs just really dominant. Everything where there's not a DB lined up over top of him, it's just going to be really good to, to pop. And like I said, you can also run the ball right up the middle. That's what makes the RPO so good. That is what I love about uh, this formation is that you can run up the middle or knock it out out here to uh, Valdez Scantling. You know, So it's just a mixture. Just I mean, the most easiest reads in the world with this running play uh that's the power and we'll see what the zone looks like man because for me i i don't really mix in the run that much but being able to mix the run in this effectively out of shotgun it is a big deal so we'll take out we try we tried the and then you have a base inside zone as well so that alone between that play between the power to rpo and then having that that inside zone well, that one got bad. That power might be better than that one. But just to have the inside zone, these two RPOs, well, I feel like, man, I could almost throw this RPO every play. That guy didn't do anything about it, and he was right there. So these are these are the three running plays between this, the power, inside zone, and, uh, yeah, the two RPOs and inside zone, those are the running plays. And one thing I said on the podcast you guys can watch on Tuesday um, is that these RPOs will never be good until they're in a formation – with good passing plays and that is why i love this because it is a formation with great passing plays and it's a formation where you can max protect and one of the most important things about madden in the past is being able to max protect having a blocker on both sides so people can't blitz you all day you know and the number one play we're going to look at is halfback shake or shake halfback corner we're going to go three four here let's back up a little bit i would probably because of the rpo i tend to want to run it this way to the wide side have the rpo to the wide side just to get some more yards but i mean the route we want to look at here i mean I, honestly every route on this field kind of looks tempting you know it kind of looks like they have an option to throw you know and that's important for man you know, all five of your receivers being an option is pretty cool but honestly it's really about Devonte adams route so for me uh the one way we can set this up is just drag it like that you know we kind of have two posts we have a drag we have max protection you know, this is a little man coverage, and we got sacked right there. We saw we had our drag wide open. I don't want to throw the drag every play. This is a little cover three look we're getting from the computer. Uh, so our block on the right. A little man coverage. Devontae Adams easily beats the man coverage on that post, man. This post is money. will be open pretty much on every single zone. And that's what makes this play so good, really. Really super simple setup, too. And we see Devontae Adams over the middle of the field again. We had our drag, and I even want to say we had our post deep for a touchdown there. This is just playing against random defense in 3-4. Easy setup, max protect, drag, Y. This is a cover two look. Just wait till Devontae Adams clears these zones. Get him the ball. It's just, it's just a route that has to be guarded. And once you have a route that had to be guarded, now we can move on to our next setups. You know, we can go with a, a flat here, a curl route. Or a comeback route to Geronimo Allison. So we can hit something like this. And throw it a little bit early right there, chat. But because we had a route that has to be guarded, we can do a bunch of different things here. Flat to Jimmy Graham. We know that our opponent's user has to be in the middle of the field. We could also do a hitch here. This looks like a little man. We could do something like that. Hitch, put a slant with Allison. Pulse route with Devontae Adams. 
little cover three blitz. And what they do in cover three blitz is they start matching. They start, you know, going with the receivers that's in front of them. Nobody went with, uh, who I don't know who this big guy is. Oh, Geronimo Allison. So that's the setup I like, too. We could also zig this guy. We're just streaking Jimmy Graham to get the zones out of the out of the picture so I can throw to Devontae Adams. But you need a high-low read on the other side. So I can hit the this whip route. He looks pretty covered. Or we can hit the slant. But oh, there we go. We got our guy Devontae Adams over the top. Big play. So if you mix this pass play in with the RPOs and the straight inside zone, picking up yards with your Marcus Allen, with your Cedric, oh, not Cedric Benson. Rest in peace, Cedric Benson. Um, who I'm thinking about from the bank, Corey Dillon. With Corey Dillon, um, with Clinton Portis, whatever DB you have, whatever running back you have, mix that in. Get get maybe an Odell in the slot there to run that RPO. Somebody that's good after the catch with good juke moves, good spin. You know, it's definitely a play. Between these two players, I think you're going to have an effective offense. Now, if these two players get bottled up, let's take a look at another play that we can use out of this Green Bay Packers doubles. That's P.A. Reed. Now, the same thing applies for P.A. Reed as does for the last play. Now, but instead, now the opposite guy is on the, on the post. Now, honestly, this isn't a bad play to run like this. You have a whip route underneath that's open. You have Jimmy Graham that's open. That was man coverage. And then you have a post backside. That's not a bad setup for sure. But for me, I would probably run this something similar. Just the opposite. Let's go. Because you can't put the tighter on the whip route and go something like this. You know. Now we have an out route to Jimmy. We can throw. Nice little possession catch. Pick up five yards. We also come out here. Now Aaron Rodgers is blinking. Now he can't. This looks like just man coverage here. So we're going to run this play. This is pinch buck zero. So let's see if my man Geronimo Allison just fries that pinch buck zero. Well, everybody's having trouble painting the ass with that pinch buck zero, but that was off man coverage. That post route just fries, man. So essentially, this is the same concept as the last play. It's just to a different receiver. So there's so many different ways you can run this, and we can still max protect. We can still have all day as I have X wide open. I don't want to throw him, but let's see what A-Rock got. Oh, I tried to throw it. Had everybody open. I was looking at the post there, but the mid-read actually covered it pretty good. And it's just to an opposite player. So I have my high-low here. I have X wide open. Devontae Adams. Uh, the one thing about Madden, they took these good players that are not necessarily that fast, but they're able to get open, man, and that's a big part of Madden. This looks like a little man coverage again, so let's see what we can get. Yep, a little pinch buck. Allison again, just frying that. Can he, can he get out of there, though? No, too slow. So those are the three plays that I like. I was the two pass plays, the two pass plays, and then... Um, the two runs or the, the RPO runs. It's rare to have a good shotgun formation. I know there's trips formations with RPOs, but they don't have that post route that we covered so much. Uh, and so that's what makes it that much better. So for me, I really don't think there's another play that I really like to throw. So you have the shake halfback corner, you have the PA read, and you have the runs. Uh, four verticals are always a great play. Against zone, this looks like a little man blitz it is, so I don't know what I would do against man blitz out of four verticals. Four verticals is a zone beater, whether it be cover two. This looks like a cover three look. Uh, a little bit of match coverage. I don't know where my running back went. I was looking for him. So match coverage caught me. Like man to man does a pretty good job on four verticals. Uh, this looks like a cover four. Oh, no, just a cover two. The one thing about four verticals now compared to the past as this is practice mode pass rush. Uh, the one thing is that this guy will run a post if it's cover two, which kind of killed me because I want to I want to throw this ball down here for a touchdown. But he goes and runs a post, doesn't get open, allows pretty much everybody to get covered in cover two. So this four verticals what I'm learning is really not that good. I mean, maybe this cover three look, and they just matched again. Oh, and then because they matched, he runs this. He runs the post route because they match in the man coverage. So what I'm learning is I'm not in love with this cover, this four verticals. 
Again, match coverage. Can he at least beat the guy? Nah. See, I would throw this out. And if I did run it, what I would do is streak Y. This looks like man to man. I don't know who's going to get open. No, but I, I kind of got open at the end there. But so that's what I'm learning. I would, I would mm, go away from the four verticals. Stick with the two passing plays. Mix in those runs, man. And that that'll take your Green Bay playbook to the next level, man. So honestly, if it had a little bit more, if the if this wide trips was any good, you know, if the bunch, well, I don't think the bunch is that bad. I really don't. Um, because it has five one eight hook. It has deep corner. Has corner strike mesh. Has some decent little plays in it. Um, tight offset, obviously, with Y out is really good. Um, yeah, so Green Bay Playbook has a lot of things. Fork Wheel was a great play in the past. Yeah, but Green Bay Playbook has a lot of different plays to mix in. That I mean, that's why it's always been a pretty... Uh, what do I want to say? A pretty pretty good playbook in Madden for the last couple of years. Um, this Green Bay playbook. Let's see what I form they got. I form slot stretch bubble. Jeez, that one's gonna give people nightmares. Um, toss dive alert bubble dive and stretch bubble right there. It's pretty wild. So, but that's Green Bay playbook. That's the formation I like. like I said between the two runs. And those two passing plays, mix up who's on the post. You can really have an effective scheme, and you really give people a lot of problems running the ball and passing the ball from that halfback doubles week.